the full moon. The full moon is an intermediate to advanced trick. You should definitely have a solid cup grip handspring before you start working on your full moon, but your half moon, which we're gonna go through as we work up to our full moon, you can definitely do regardless of where you are at level-wise with handsprings, okay? So let's break this down. Um, initially, the biggest thing is figuring out where your hips go, okay? So let's talk about hand position to start. It's gonna be a cup grip thumb down, thumb is next to the fingers, up above my head with a slight bend in my elbow. My bottom hand is gonna go on the pole, fingers down with the elbows straight, but not locked out, okay? Um, if you have hyperextended elbows, always be very careful that you don't completely lock them out because that can put a lot of wear and tear on the joint. Um, I tend to default to the finger down, um, but then if need be, I let that finger come off. That's a personal preference. Some people feel very strongly you shouldn't use the finger. Some people feel you should. Honestly, whatever you feel like you are most comfortable with. I won't get into that. But to me, personal preference wise, I like using the finger and I don't have any issues with using it. Okay, so that's where our arms are going. Here's the next part, just to start. We're gonna start with our half moon and then start working our way up to the handspring, okay? So the half moon is gonna come through here. Okay, um, you can make it a flowy move, you can make it a dancey move. I just went through and went, er, stop. But it's a nice, pretty low flow move that you can do as well to continue through. So the way this one's gonna work, and this is what you're gonna start with, whether your goal is just to stop at half moon or to take it all the way up to a full moon, is we're gonna start with the outside foot away from the pole or in line with the pole, okay? So I wanna stand relatively close. I don't wanna be way out here because the goal is to go up and come down on the other side here. Very similar to a shoulder mount cartwheel if you've worked on those before, okay? So my outside foot is going to plant roughly even with the pole, okay? Hands, ideally, eventually, you're gonna be able to just step into it and not place the hands initially, but initially when we start, we'll start with the hands on the pole. So I'm gonna start with my outside foot in line with the pole. My hands are in line in my cup grip. Now, here's the key thing, is this inside leg and inside hip. What tends to happen with people when they go to do full moon, because it's a little scary in the beginning, is they go here, and then they wonder why they can't get their butt up. The problem is, is they're not leading with their hips, okay? So picture someone grabbed a hold of your inside leg, and as you step through, you lean, okay? As I'm leaning with my hips, my inside arm is pushing, okay? So this is why, like I said, you should be, for the full moon, definitely be working on handsprings, be solid in your cup grip, because you want to be able to have a strong push with that bottom arm. Okay, so that bottom arm as I come through is continuing to push me through. And then if I'm going full moon, I'm gonna go up and over, okay? So initially, we're just gonna work on that follow through with the hips, okay? So step one, working on step, okay? And finishing in this position. Now we're gonna talk about where the hips are going and getting the turnaround, okay? Um, it's very similar to, I believe it's called a tour jeté in dance. It's been a long time since my ballet days. Is we're going to step through with this leg and then we're going to switch and turn to face the pole. Okay? Um, so if it's just the half moon, it'll have just that little flick. If it's the full moon, it'll continue to go all the way up. Okay? So outside foot plants in line with the pole. Inside leg is going to start back. Hands are going to start up in that cup grip. As I come through, my inside leg goes step, turn. Okay, so your goal is to start to feel this push with the bottom arm, and right as you start to feel that weightless moment, that's where you would switch, okay? If you're only getting here, you don't wanna be switching, you're gonna run to the pole, and then eventually it's never gonna go up. So what I wanna feel is that slight, like think of if you were on a swing, a little child swing, um, which I still enjoy as an adult, and when you get to the apex of that swing and there's that little moment where you're like, oh, I felt like I almost went over, even though you're nowhere close to going over, um, that is the spot where you'd wanna switch, okay? So don't rush the switch, go up, and if you're like, oh, that's the spot to switch, okay? So outside foot plants, inside leg comes through, through, turn to face the pole, okay? The other thing to think about is where your legs are going as you're doing this. Picture you're in a hallway. Your legs should not be going on this plane. So there shouldn't be a kick, whoop, roundhouse kick. It should be a kick switch, okay? So really think about flick with your hips, okay? So this is our half moon coming through, inside foot plants, hands are in the cup position. Initially, I start with my shoulder behind as my leg and especially my hip follow through, pushing with that bottom arm switch, turn, okay? That leg can be bent, it can be straight, you can stylize it however you want, 
okay? So start with that. That is step one. You definitely want to be comfortable with that and feeling that push to go through. If that push to the other side is not happening, this next part is definitely not happening, okay? So this section, regardless of whether you have a handspring, totally down, okay? You can work on these from the floor. You can work on them from standing. Um, there's a nice transition variation that people will do from down here to bring it up. Okay, so you can kind of play around with that either from your knees or standing. Now moving on to work towards the full moon. This part you definitely want to already be solid with your cupcake pan spring. For a lot of people, this feels like a really scary way into their cupcake pan spring initially because you're starting from back here and you have to commit and follow through. Okay, and for a lot of people, cup grip is a little scary to begin with. Okay, so for this part, um, definitely if you're solid with your cup of pants, cup grip pin spring, um, and of course, as always, enlist your pole buddies to help and be a spotter and make sure you're safe. Okay, so now for this next part, you're gonna go up and stop in your handspring. Okay, because eventually, yes, it's gonna go up and over, but the problem is if most people start thinking up and over, they start shortchanging and it goes around this way. So step one, half moon. Step two, half moon, but instead of that tour jeté, up and stop, okay? So I'm going to start the same way inside foot, or I'm sorry, outside foot plants, even with the pole, inside foot is through. As I kick, up, and then take it down, okay? So there's a pause up there. Basically, you want to make sure you're hitting that moment at the top. Once you kind of start to feel that up, then we start taking it down the other side. So I don't know if you could see when I came down, although I paused a long time, so lost a lot of momentum, um, my inside leg continues to go through, okay? So it'll go up, handspring, and then that inside leg comes through. Think about trying to turn your stomach, your belly button, to the pole as you come through, okay? So I'll come up this way, I'll stop, and then my stomach will continue to turn towards the pole, okay? So let's look at that one more time. I'm gonna start outside foot. Inside foot steps through, up, my inside leg trails through, and down to bring it through, okay? So if that part feels comfortable and you're able to kind of hit that handspring there and it's feeling pretty solid, then we start to put it all together and take it to all the way over. Okay, so then now taking it to the full moon all the way over. We're gonna start with the half moon to the handspring all the way over. By the time you're taking it to all the way over, you should be totally comfortable with all of that. Half moon, cup grip handspring, and then starting to add in that second part all the way over, okay? So as you're comfortable, eventually you'll start with your hands completely off the pole and then step into it. Initially, you can start with your hands on the pole, off the pole, whatever feels most comfortable or whatever your goals are with this, okay? So if I start back behind me, inside foot is placed forward because then I'm gonna step with my outside. But like I said, that's personal preference where you wanna start, okay? So through down, add whatever flowy stuff you want to do um, to take it all the way over, okay? As you get comfortable with this, you can start to stylize what you do with your legs. You can make it, you know, more of a flashy slip, more of a pop, more of a switch kick, whatever you want to do. But start with that basic part. Really focus on that bottom arm. Same concepts as you would do in a regular handspring. Um, if handspring is new to you or you are not quite there with your cup grip handspring, definitely go check out my website, elizabethbfit.com. And I have a full online tutorial on how to train your handspring from ground zero up. Okay. Okay. There's your full moon. Try it out. Let me know how it goes.